100% fertilized, man. Using hay as green manure like that is just amazing. Because, you know, normally with green manure, which in this game is oil seed radish, I think, you don't get a crop out of it. You just plant it and then you plow it in and it gives you one fertilization stage. But in this case, we use the grass. We got a harvest from the grass, a big one at that, and then turned around and, and turned it into to green manure. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to flip our uh, Field 57 from hay over to wheat. Um, and then after that, probably do some spraying, because I think we'll probably have to do some spraying on it. Well, we'll also have to roll it, too. Uh, so we're going to use a GPS for this, because I'm going to do this myself. Um, the, uh, the AI... Uh, both course play AI and normal AI don't work well with these cedars. I've, I've tried it before and they just, it doesn't work well. So I'm going to have to do this myself. Um, so let's go ahead and bring up the GPS menu. And yes, by the way, I did purchase uh, the GPS add-on for the Fent tractor. Uh, I did that before I started the camera. So that set us back $15,000, but I think it's going to, uh, you know, be nice to have. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to, um, I think we're going to, it doesn't auto detect the width correctly for all three of these cedars. It only detects the first one. Uh, so we're going to have to manually adjust our width here. Um, so let's um, go back into here and we're going to want to increase this increment. And then it's going to need to be somewhere around 50 ish, I think. Except for, why isn't it showing me the borders? I think we have to set this first. Um, so yeah, we want to set this to 180 degrees. Set cardinal. There it goes. Okay, so... <clears throat> excuse me. So that's, um, that's still too narrow. So let's go ahead and increase it some more. So it's currently at 45. Or no, not that. Um, 48, 51. What's 51 look like? That's too... Oh, we're not right in the center. we got to get right in the center. Okay. So that's... Kind of weird. Maybe it's because we're just not perfectly straight. But it seems like it's... Okay, so that's lined up right on that wheel. That's lined up just inside of that wheel. I think that's actually pretty good right there. Um, I'd like it to move over a little bit, though. Can I get it to do that just by moving the tractor over a little bit? No, but I think what we can do for that is uh, there's a keyboard shortcut for that. Let's, let's take a look and see what that is. I want to go down to guidance, steering, um, and shift track right is alt page up. Okay. I guess it's, it must be backwards because it was actually shifting it left. So I did alt page down to shift it right. That looks just about where we want it to be. I'm saying, I'm thinking uh, before we save this though, let's do a, uh, a test. Um, so our cedars are set to wheat, as you can see down in the lower right hand corner by speedometer. Oh, and by the way, there's a, a really nice benefit of, of what we're doing here. You'll notice I don't have any fertilizer in the cedars. And that's because this field, being a hay field and already have been rolled, is already 100% fertilized. Look at the lower right-hand corner. You can see it's 100% fertilized. So not only did we get a massive hay cutting out of this uh, by planting this grass, but we're also turning it now into a cover crop uh, and using it as green manure. So like double benefit there. It's really nice. Really nice uh, way for, you know, I didn't even necessarily even intend for it to work out that way, but it has, <laughs> so it's good. Uh, all right, so let's 
line up on this and we want to lower our cedars and then we're just going to go a little ways in and make sure that it's all working correctly looks like that middle one didn't actually go down yeah see that looks that looks pretty good the thing is right on the border though but that should be okay all right now I don't know I, I'm almost wondering we, we should probably have just a tiny bit of overlap though because I mean that is right smack dab on the edge there so let's go back into the menu and I'm gonna reduce the increment here and then maybe pull it in a couple of clicks there just so we're we have a little bit of overlap because we want a little bit of overlap let's reduce it even more let's reduce it to 51 feet or yeah 50.98 feet huh um that doesn't seem like it's doing much does it okay let's raise the increment back up and then reduce it down to 49.34 Okay, that looks a little bit better and let's move it over a little bit too I just want this left cedar to be overlapping a little bit more than it is yeah that's better I think well, you know what? Let's try this. We can always we can always adjust it more later. Okay, so we're gonna go into here. We're gonna name this uh, F57 seating, and we're gonna save this. Okay, so it should be saved, and. That's looking pretty good. All right, so let's get down to this corner. This first corner down here is a bear with these cedars because it's got that big uh, transformer box or whatever it is right in the way. Um, so yeah, it can be a bit of a pain in the neck to to get that first corner done. But once we get through the first corner, then all the rest of the corners on this field are really easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So we'll get all the way down. Um, any trains coming? No, I think we're okay on the trains for the moment. All right, turn that off. Raise these guys up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and come at this. Oh, for Pete's sake, I thought I lifted that up. <laughs> Try and kind of come at it from this angle and yeah we'll take out the sign but so what else is new all right let's get the center of the tractor about where we want it we'll do a rotation um yeah well, for it was in the right spot for a minute there but now it's way off to the side but you know what i want it I think we need to keep it where it is because otherwise it'll we don't want to adjust it here because it's adjusted based upon you know where we started so we're just gonna do a narrower headland to start with here yeah, that, there's a weird thing with these cedars in that if you you know, control V. 
Uh, you know what? It's probably too far over the headland to register. All right, well, I'll just do this manually. Anyway, Control V is supposed to raise and lower all of your connected tools, but with these cedars, it only does the back two. And then some, but it, it makes it look like the front one's down, but it isn't, so I have to manually do the front one. And sometimes I get confused about which way is up, which way is down, and so, yeah, it can be a little bit of a pain in the neck to deal with. So we'll do this first pass just manually. I'll, I'm just following the white line here as best as I can. Go all the way to the end of the field. We're going to crash into the to there, so I'm going to have to swerve that way a little bit. <laughs> okay, so let's raise those up and see if we can get unstuck here. Yeah, we might need a little bit of super strength assistance here. Okay. Now, let's just go back the other way. And it should be nice and lined up for us now. Okay. Make sure that front one's down. It is. Okay, good. So now we should be nice and smooth and accurate for all for the rest of the rows. Well, the one going uh, that direction might be off a little bit too, but we'll we'll do the same thing. We'll just if it's overlapping, we'll do the overlap first, so that way the rest of it's right on target. Very nice. All right, let's raise that up. Raise that up. And then we'll go this way again. Have to avoid the light there. I'm going to do um, a game save at this point, too. Okay, so I think what we're going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is... I'm going to go ahead and time lapse the rest of the seating, and I will bring you guys back when the field is fully seated. So enjoy the music. You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're going to be the girl that I'll Style. Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you
the girl that I'll end up talking about. Oh, oh. Can't get enough of this. Being with you is like never ending sunshine. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. I feel I ever let you go now. When you're looking like that. Can't get enough of this. Being with you is a never ending sunshine. All right, guys, this is the last bit here. Get this finished up. We'll double check the field and make sure we didn't miss any spots. And then, of course, uh, the next step will be to roll. I think that's everything. And yeah, look at that. We got a full field of wheat it's a beautiful thing all right i'm gonna head back to the farm uh get these guys cleaned up dropped off unloaded put away and then uh come out here with uh all three tractors and knock out the rolling really quick so i'll bring you guys back at that point all right guys i'm back um <laughs> i have been through one heck of a fiasco uh, for the last several hours in this game. Um, let me give you the short version, okay? So after we finished seeding the field, I got all three tractors on the field with the rollers, and we rolled the field. And then I jumped in the sprayer, and I sprayed the field. All was well, okay? Okay. So I figured we were good. I, I recorded that footage and was planning on, you know, making an episode uh, or including it in this episode, right? And then the next day came and the seed did not germinate, A, and B, the weeds were not killed. And I'm thinking, what in the heck is going on? So, long story short, through a bunch of testing and reloading of saves and backups and whatnot, I finally narrowed it down to the culprit. And the culprit are these rollers here. For some reason, when I use these rollers on the field to roll it, because if we look at the field now, at the soil composition, it shows that it needs rolling. It's got the light blue color here. But for some reason, when I use these rollers on that field, it breaks the field. It does not let the wheat germinate, and it doesn't let the herbicide or even the the in-game hose or weeders, the mechanical ones, take out the weeds. They're, like, completely indestructible. <laughs> and, I'm, and I was, like, scratching my head and trying to figure out what in the world's going on. And like I said, I just did a bunch of testing, a bunch of reloads of saves, and I finally figured out that it's these rollers that's causing the problem. Now, I don't understand that because I have used these rollers countless times in the past to roll a field that I just seeded with no problem whatsoever. The only thing that's different is that I rolled the field with grass on it, kind of as a meadow roll. Um... And then I rolled it again after we seeded it. And I don't know, maybe the game thought that I was rolling too many times and I killed off the seed or something. Even though it still showed that there was wheat planted on the field, that it just wouldn't go up uh, or wouldn't come up. It wouldn't germinate. And, and I couldn't kill the weeds for the life of me. <laughs> not mechanically and not chemically. I just couldn't kill them. So what I said, well, all right, does it, that apply to the in-game um seed roller or soil roller too and the good news is it does not so if i use the in-game roller um so we're talking about uh these dalbo rollers here then it works and it doesn't seem to cause any trouble so what we're going to do is we're going to lease um this big roller and we might even end up leasing it to own um well i probably won't lease it to own because it's not something we're going to use a lot because it'll cost us, um, yeah, it'll be real, pr pretty expensive to lease to own. So I think we'll just wait till it comes on sale. I have seen these on sale on occasion, but I've never had a reason to buy them. 
So we're going to lease it for now and use it to roll the field. And then I'm, you know, I, and I have, I have backed up the game. Uh, I've saved the game and I've backed it up in windows just in case something else goes crazy. But for my, my testing, this roller does not seem to break the field. So I got, I, I got to tell you, man, I, I was frustrated. I really was. It took me many hours between last night and this morning to figure out what the heck was going on. Uh, but the good news is we finally figured it out. And um, I think we're back on track here. Okay, so um, let's hook up the Fint and take this big boy out to the field. This thing is enormous, by the way. I've never used um, this, well, not on camera, I should say. Um, and it's just huge, which is a good thing because that means we can get the rolling done pretty quickly. And it, it's so big that there's no point in even having two of them running at the same time, as you'll see once we get out to the field. So I will meet you out at the field, and we'll get that thing rolled with the roller that doesn't break the field. <laughs> so weird. All right. Watch this thing unfold. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> I love it. It's just enormous. Isn't that crazy, man? I love it. Okay. So, um, yeah, it, it isn't going to take us long at all to roll this field uh, with this roller because it's so big. Um, how big is it, by the way? Just out of curiosity. It is 24.3 meters. Yeah, so huge. Really, it seems like that's more than 23.4 meters, but maybe not. Um, okay. Okay. Let's get turn around. I'm not even going to bother with GPS on this because, you know, it's just rolling. If we miss a couple of spots, it's not that big a deal. But I do need to get it straightened out here. All right. Let's do some rolling. All right, guys, we're just about finished here with the rolling. Um, one thing about this roller is it's it's enormous, but it also is very slow. It only goes seven miles an hour. And I haven't been able to get it to, to lift. So my lift button is not working. So it's basically been down the entire time uh, we've been in the field. So I'm not sure what's up with that. I made sure that the lines were connected. And, you know, if they weren't, I wouldn't have been able to unfold it in the first place anyways. But, yeah, something's weird with that. But it just makes the job even that much a little slower. But we're getting it done. I want to look, after we're completely finished here, and see if the smaller one goes twice as fast. Because it might be worth it to, to get a couple smaller ones and, you know, get use course play and an AI to help with this just because it is slow and I can't raise the doggone thing up to move fast, you know, when I'm doing my turns and whatnot. So we just got this one little patch left. You know, something else that just occurred to me too as I was um, doing the rolling is I should check the mod hub to see if there's an update for that other roller because maybe the mod author is aware of it and has fixed it. But yeah, I'm pressing the raise button. It doesn't raise. This is the fold button. It folds, so... This is really odd. Let's look at that for a second. So this is the one we have. It's seven miles an hour. Oh, that one's just as slow. Okay, never mind. And it's only it's only about half the width. So yeah, this is definitely the way to go then. Takes 350 horse to run this sucker. All right, so uh, we can return this. I'm not I'm not going to um lease it to own it just doesn't make sense since it's only something we use on occasion but if one of these does come up for sale uh, I probably will get it okay so let's go to rollers and return that 
And if we look at the map, we should now have a fully rolled field, except for those weird spots that aren't fertilized for whatever reason. I don't know. Okay, so hopefully we are in good shape. The next step now is going to be to spray the field because my understanding is that if you spray the field right after you seed it, you don't lose any yield. But if the weeds start to come up and then you spray it afterwards, you start using uh, losing some yield from the weeds. And the you know the the longer you wait, the bigger the weeds get, the more yield you lose. Uh, so if you look in the lower right hand corner, you can see that it says weeds are growing and they can actually appear within a few hours in game. Uh, so we want to get right on the spray and uh, get that dealt with. So I'm going to head back to the farm. We're also going to make another purchase as a part of this process too. So I'll see you back there in just a moment. All right, guys, let's uh, connect to our sprayer and pull it out of the shed here and then we're going to uh, I guess I have to get a little closer um, I'm gonna purchase a couple of containers liquid containers because we're probably at, you know as the farm continues to expand we're gonna have to start doing um, spraying more frequently well actually we've never really had to do spraying at all just because all most of the fields I do I do right after plowing which prevents weeds and um, and then you know hay doesn't have a problem with weeds or grass because it's too dense for weeds to grow apparently anyway okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna purchase a couple of mods that um, let me make sure I actually have them. I might. No, it doesn't look like I've activated them. Okay, let me let me take care of that first. I downloaded them, but I just didn't activate them. Um, quit the game. Oh, actually, hold on. Save the game first. And while we're in here, we might as well look and see if that roller has an update. The bale storages have an update, but not the roller. Um, okay, let's update those. Okay, so yeah, that roller does not currently have an update or it would show up here. Um, so let's go to here and what I'm looking for is not here. Okay, so I, I I think I downloaded it, but then when I was reloading all those saves trying to figure out the problem, I must have gone back too far. Um, so let's go to containers, and we're gonna get these guys here. These Karma 16 special silos. Um, and basically what you can do with these is you can do seed, fertilizer, lime. The end game one only lets you do seed and mineral feed. Uh, but you can also put, um, feed in them. So you can do, um, <clears throat> silage, oats, wheat. Yeah. So you can put feed in them if you want to. Um, or what we're going to use them for is you can put liquid. So water, diesel, liquid, fertilizer, herbicide, and silage additive. So I'm going to get two, one for herbicide and one for silage additive because we use the bond silage a lot. Um, so, and they're, they actually only cost a thousand pounds. Well, yeah, a thousand bucks, which I think is too cheap because the end game one is 16,000. So we're going to pay more for those. Um, oh, did I, wait a minute. <laughs> Did I actually install them? I don't think I did. Uh, go back here. Install. There we go. Okay. All right. So let's get back into here. But the other thing you got to do is you got to activate them too. So now we got to find where it is. Right here. Okay. Um. So yeah, we'll put these down. And we'll have one for herbicide and one for bond silage. I have a little bit of bond silage left on a pallet, though, so we'll use that up first. 
during our next harvest. And then that yeah, will be good. So I, I'm going to be able to fit these over by the other two container uh, silos too, uh, just because I've already done this. But like I said, I had all those problems and had to reload a bunch of pass saves and all that got undone. So I have to redo it. Fun, fun. I'll keep my eye out for that mod, um, you know, uh, uh, updating. Hopefully the, the, you know, well, I don't know. It, and there might be something more going on. Maybe it's just my save in particular, but um, <clears throat> if it is an issue, a more widespread issue, hopefully the mod author will realize that and get it fixed. Uh, I might even see if there's some way I could contact him. Okay, so yeah, let's go back over here. And we want to go into the building menu. And container. And we want to grab the liquids silo. Okay, so we're going to put one right here. We'll turn it this way. And we're going to put one over here. Except for this one is having an overlap issue. So we might have to... Yeah, maybe it's the, is it the flatbed trailer? Let's move that out of the way. We're just going to use super strength. This time around, <clears throat> in fact, let's just move them both out of the way, just, just to make sure there's plenty of space there. It could be that those are just interfering with the trigger, maybe. Okay, so let's go back to containers. There we go. Okay. And maybe we'll... Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea to have that tilted this way a little bit. And let's, let's just put it there. That should work. Okay. So, it costs us a thousand bucks, but I'm going to pay the same price as the in-game one, because I think that's way too cheap for these. Um, so that means we're going to go here and we're going to deduct uh, $28,000. Um, no, wait, 16 and 16 would be 32. So we're going to, but we've already paid 2000. So we're going to remove $30,000. Okay. That, that makes me feel, feel better about it because it's just way too cheap. Some of the mods, you know, the, that people make are not, <clears throat> they're just too OP. So I felt like we needed to pay more for these. And so we did. Okay, so this one, we are actually going to make this a bond silage um, container because we'll, we'll be accessing it more frequently. Um, and so we'll, this one, we'll make the herbicide. So what we're going to do is go over here and we're going to tell it we want herbicide, but I'm not going to buy 100,000 liters. Uh, we're only going to buy 10,000 liters. Okay, very good. Uh, the other thing that's neat about these is they have lights on too. So when it gets dark out, they light up and they light up this whole area, which is very cool. Okay, let's put these guys back. And we should still be able to back in there for the fill point. Okay, let's hop in here. And we'll back her up and fill her up. We go okay so our trailer holds 5200 liters so it's just a little over half of what we put in the tank i don't know how long it'll last um i have almost next to no experience spraying in this game so we'll see uh, i don't know if we can get the whole field done in one pass or if we'll have to reload when the time comes so let's head over to our usual starting position 
and we'll start unfolding this thing. This thing has pretty impressive width too, man. <laughs> that looks awesome. I love it. Look at that thing. Woo. It's huge. Okay, so we are, or I am rather, going to use a GPS with this only because it doesn't change the texture when you spray, so you have n really can't tell where you've sprayed and where you have it, um, which is really weird. You think it would, but now if you spray in actively growing weeds, the weeds will wilt, so you can you can kind of tell that way. But we're not, you know, we're spraying before the weeds come up, so. All right, let's go ahead and bring up uh, GPS. And will you correctly auto width? It looks like it is, 108 to 7. All right, let's do the heading and 180 degrees, set cardinal. We want to call this F57 sprain. And save it. Oh, okay, that's not right. Um, huh. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. I guess I was still on the other one. Yeah, that looks pretty close to what we want. All right. So let's lock it in. Start the spraying and go to town. So yeah, as you can see, it doesn't change the texture at all. So there's no way I would know where I left off if I wasn't using GPS. And I don't know, I don't even think it really shows in the map either. Yeah, see, it doesn't even show in the map. So GPS is definitely essential for getting proper coverage with this. I guess it's spraying directly behind too, it just doesn't show up as much. I don't think I'm gonna do a headland here either. I think it's just we're just gonna go straight up and down and we'll just reposition. I could, but again, it's just going to be so hard to tell where I sprayed and where I didn't um, that I'm just going to do up and down tracks. And we got a good deal on this sprayer, too. All right, are we going to crash into this? No, I think we're going to clear it. Uh, any trains coming? Should probably look for that, huh? Okay. Okay, let's get turned around here. And do the next pass. Oh, you know what? It looks like I missed the very start of that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm going to work on this, and I will see you when we're all done spraying.
so let's see we got a little bit of a sticky situation here let's see if I can swing it around this way there we go <laughs> it's the downside to working with something that's so incredibly long all right what I think we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna have to kind of do a little bit of a headland it's gonna be difficult to tell in fact if we hop out and look okay so it doesn't say weeds are growing in this spot but if we come over here it says weeds are growing so we can at least sort of kind of tell that way um, but why don't we uh, go at an angle here and just kind of you know do the best we can with covering this angle here at least until we get to where the where we can turn and go straight which is going to be right about here okay so now let's back up to here and then lock it in and then spray okay we'll probably be able to do that last pass just straight on on down because I think there'll be enough clearance for me to pull far enough ahead to finish it spray the weeds on the road if that'll make them disappear those weeds have been a pain in the neck ever since they appeared many many seasons ago after I redid this field here yep I got them nice so they they now have a dead look to them and they should disappear after a certain period of time okay cool um i believe we are finished with the spray we only use uh, we still have 63 percent left so that that's actually really good um consumption right there uh, so let's fold up the sprayer and uh, we can't really like i said we can't really look at the map to tell if it's been sprayed or not uh, because there's no there's no indicator for that but it has so uh, let's go ahead and turn GPS off too and the acid test now is just going to be to fast forward time and make sure that um, it's all good so what I think I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a test well, is there anything more we need to do in October, though? Let me look. Uh, let's look at our animals. So chickens are good. Cows are good. Sheep are good. So our critters are in good shape. What about our greenhouses? Greenhouses are good. They still have tons of manure. Um, so they're in good shape. What about... Oh, we need to buy some sugar for, um, for the for the bakery. So let's just do that now. We're gonna buy some sugar and we'll just buy another thousand liters and that'll last for another, I don't know, three or four months or so. And uh, the dairy is, dairy's got plenty of milk. So yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need to do. I think we're uh, in good shape. There's fabric in the clothing shop. Just trying to think. Um, contracts yeah we did field 71 a long long time ago well it seems like it's been a long time ago even though it's still been in this month that's a corn contract for 8500 bucks on field 10 eh, i don't know 
we we can't use corn for anything. We have we have nothing that would consume it. So there's no point in doing that. We could sell it, but we're just not going to make that much money, especially this time of year because I don't think corn is. Uh, we're at yeah. This is the worst time to sell corn in October. So yeah, I'm going to let that contract go. I'm not going to mess with it. Okay, so I think we're actually good to just advance. So what I'm going to do is. Uh, definitely going to save first, just in case. And let's go ahead and just fast forward into the next morning. And we'll see, we should not, we should see the seeds, the wheat germinate, and we should not see any weeds on it, if everything goes well. That looks good, you guys. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> that is such a relief, I got to tell you. Ah, beautiful field of wheat and no weeds. 100% fertilized, man. Using hay as green manure like that is just amazing. Because, you know, normally with green manure, which in this game is oilseed radish, I think. You don't get a crop out of it. You just plant it and then you plow it in and it gives you one fertilization stage. But in this case, we use the grass. We got a harvest from the grass, a big one at that, and then turned around and, and turned it into to green manure and rolled it and got two stages of fertilization. That is such a good deal. We're going to probably be doing this from now on um, on our big fields. And, and it makes the field more useful because we can use it twice a year instead of only once a year, you know. So I really like it. It's a lot of extra work, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. Um, all right. So, yeah. Um, I'm, 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 I just feel relieved that that finally worked. Because, <laughs> you know, you guys didn't see all the toil and trauma I went through off camera trying to figure this issue out. It was, like, just not fun. And, you know, it just... It, didn't occur to me that it was those rollers until, you know, process of elimination. I finally was able to figure it out. So it makes me wonder if, if, if this is going to be a problem for, you know, moving forward, at least until an update occurs. I'm just kind of, you know, the next time we plant an arable crop, I'm going to have to really, you know, save and back up and test these to see if it causes the same problem. Um, and, and, you know, unless there's an update. Uh, they still work absolutely fantastic for metal rolling, so I'm going to keep them for that reason. But if they if they don't get fixed, if they cause problems on other crops, then you know we're probably we're not going to be able to use them for soil rolling moving forward. Hopefully they'll get fixed though. All right, I'm going to clean this thing up, and I guess we need to unload the herbicide. And we got we also have to look at uh, October finances. So let's just pop those two IBCs out. And we're just gonna take and dump them back in here, uh, in here. Oh, can we? How do I, how do I get these back in here? Maybe I can't. Interesting, okay. Because you know, if, if it's if it's the seed, I just bring the IBC over, and then it it just dumps back in. But well, all right. I guess we're just gonna have to keep these as IBCs and use them first before we pull more out of the out of the container. That's that's odd. It's, it's too bad there wasn't a way to do that, but I don't know how I would do it. Because it has to be in something that can tip. Hmm. All right. Well, yeah, not a big deal. We'll just keep the IBCs. I'll find a place over by the barn, I guess, to store them. Let's take this over here and get it cleaned up. Oh, you know what we can do? We can just store the herbicide in in the sprayer I didn't even my brain's not working <laughs> let's just start in there I mean I don't know if you would do that in real life but this isn't real life in case you guys didn't know that 
Yeah, we'll just store it inside of there. That'll work. But let's uh, make sure the Fint is topped off. And the sprayer probably needs a couple dollars. Yeah, $32. $1,700 there. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at October finances here. Um, so in October, we bought a GPS. That's what this is. Yeah, we bought the GPS uh, mod for the fence. So that's what that $15,000 is. Uh, $2,000 in construction costs. I'm um, trying to remember what, what that was for. Oh. Oh yeah, that was for the two uh, the two containers that we bought for the bond salvage and the herbicide. What the game charged us, I should say. Uh, vehicle running cost was forty two seventy two. Leasing cost was nine thousand five hundred twenty seven dollars because we leased the the big Dalble roller. Property maintenance twenty two forty four. Production cost twenty nine twenty three. Uh, we sold one hundred and one thousand six hundred seventy four dollars from the greenhouses. Uh, spent $904 in fuel, $620 in uh, water costs. We made $20,000, $237 from contracts, which I think was just from a couple of cultivating contracts that we did. Uh, no, sorry, that was from Field 71. Uh, paid workers, $2,025. Um, this miscellaneous is from us, me taking the extra thirty grand out to, to pay what I felt was a, a more fair price for those two new containers. And then we paid $2,065 in pallet distribution costs. We are sitting at $135,416. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go here. Um, and I'm going to start right up again uh, for the next episode here on November 1st. Uh, I believe we are going to sell eggs. Um, oh, let's here while we're here, let's look at the shop. What do we got? We got a corn header. This is a roller and a weeder, but it's only three meters wide. Yeah, that would, <laughs> no thanks. That'd just take way too long, even though it is doing a couple of things at the same time. Um, nice John Deere header, but we don't have corn or sunflowers, so there's no point in buying. Ooh, whatever that was just disappeared. And this, I think, is a mulcher, which is only 5.6 meters wide, so also not something I'd be interested in. One of the things we could do with, grass too is we could mulch it but yeah i don't know that that would really be any different than rolling it in the you know when it's all said and done so anywho so let's go here real quick before i let you go um i believe it's eggs that we're going to sell yep eggs are at their top price in november so i'm expecting to make around 60 grand off of our eggs and uh, don't know if anything else is good in november out of our own products. Straw is good in December. We might sell some of that straw. Uh, we don't have enough hay to where I would want to sell it. Flour, bread. Uh, you know, cake, when I was in September, cake was not showing. That's too bad, too, because, man, that, that's the, that would have been the best time to sell it. But for whatever reason, this graph wasn't showing it when I was in September. Ah, uh, that really sucks. You know what I might end up doing with the cake is I might just hang on to it and let it just keep storing it up until next year. We'll pretend like it's in, you know, it's frozen, so it's not going bad. <laughs> we kind of left left that uh, logic behind a long time ago, though, in this game, unfortunately. How did we miss butter in September? There's no way I, I missed it because I always check it. Son of a gun, man. Really? Oh, that sucks. Because this thing isn't consistent. It fluctuates, and sometimes it shows other things. Doggone it. Well, that sucks that we missed that. I think, too, I, I mean, a couple episodes ago, we started in September, and I, and I even introduced the episode with, hey, it's September, and we got to sell a few things. But then we looked at this, and there wasn't anything that was maxed out in September. It's too bad it does that because, you know... I guess it's simulating an unpredictable market, but I don't know. It's a little frustrating, but it is what it is. 
so we could, I mean, December or January is still going to be okay for those products. So we might end up just selling the, all that in January anyways. We'll make a little less money, but we'll still make a, a, a pretty good chunk of change off of it. Uh, chocolate's January too. So, okay. Anyway, um, so it looks like it's just eggs that we're going to sell here in November, which we will do that at the start of the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.